guest, Brendan Goddard, assumes the captaincy of Essendon at the most difficult point in the club's history. He joins us now. Brendan, it was just a practice match, but how significant was getting that win over the Blues? Uh, well, yeah, it was, it was quite significant, mainly uh, well, we're going to be compared and have been compared already to, to Carlton this year. But um, So there's a bit, a bit of mental edge over the team, but it was... It was, uh, it was pretty significant for the younger guys. Even though it was a NAB, NAB one game, it was uh, the confidence the young guys will get. Before me, at an AFL level, although a young team, both young teams, but to get a win um, is pretty significant for them. Brendan, how do you go captaining a team which has got this group of players that are in exile and a bunch of top-up players? It must be very difficult. Uh, well, it hasn't, it hasn't been. I think that the luxury with the top-up players, and, and we don't refer to them top-ups players, the new recruits, but um, there's a few older guys there with great experience, so then coming in actually assisted what we, the older guys already at Essendon, not only myself, so it's actually taken a bit of the load and weight off my shoulders having those guys come in and help, but um, I'm, we're not naive, it's going to be a challenge going forward to, to keep gelling as a group, but I think yesterday was, was very, very promising and I think we surprised a few people. How do you do that practically? Do you keep in contact with Joe Watson? Do you try and do things socially with the guys? Because obviously they can't come to the club, but there is an essence of needing to remain unified and not us and them. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, we've, we've gone out of our way to try and incorporate the two groups and, and as you said, do things socially and within the rules of ASADA and the AFL. So, um, we, look, we've caught up as a group and not everyone, everyone's they're out of town and doing doing their own thing, but we've caught up recently as a group um, with current players and, and, the, and the 12 others. So, um, it's important that we do keep that connection going forward regardless of what happens. Are you in regular contact with Joe? Yeah, I was, uh, I was mentioning just before, to be honest. Now, last year, Paul Chapman um, wrote a book and he was a bit critical of, uh, of, your, of you seemingly berating other players. Are you, did you take that on board in terms of how you're going to captain this year? Uh, I don't think it's more so what, what Chappie said. Um, I know my area's improved and I made that publicly um, uh, a couple of weeks ago when I took over the captaincy. But, um, I, and, and that's been an ongoing thing for me. I think I've improved a lot, but it's obviously an area where I, I know I need help with. Um, and not only not only area I need help with, but um, it's definitely with the circumstance. But I, I want to change. It's not, it's not a matter of needing to change. It's wanting to change for this young group and helping them develop. We saw the vision of the boys training this morning. How much do you know about the program and what's in place and what they're going to be doing over the next few months? Zero, actually. It's the first... The first I was trying to watch it while sitting out there, but this is the first I've seen or known of it. Um, I have known they've been trying to get together and do something on an official basis or more official that um, I didn't know the details of it, who was taking it, where they're training. So this is the first I've actually seen of it. So it's, it's good to see the guys out there together. How good is it for you to see the guys together and doing this? I mean, they all look fit and... Obviously, there's a level of passion. Seeing Joe Watson doing that makes you think that yes, he would, he should be back there next year. Yeah, look, I, I haven't, I haven't really had any doubt about Joe's passion towards football and his love for Essendon. Um, and what he, what he does going forward, it's good to see him train, but what he does is, is really his, his own choice and for his own reasons, that's fine. I'd never really doubt his passion for us and his love for the footy club and the boys, but it is, it is reassuring to see the guys come together and, and regardless of what happens, decisions they make in, in six months, but it's good to see them get together and making an effort to, to stay in touch and stay, stay fit. One of the reasons you came to Essendon was uh, James Hurd. You had a close relationship with him. Have you had any contact with James? Uh, I have, uh, not not since the decision. Um, but James and I keep in regular contact. I didn't know James that well, to be honest, before coming to Essendon. But we we established and struck up a relationship pretty quick, and have a lot of common interests and same beliefs and morals in a lot of th a lot of things, particularly in football. Um, but yeah, so my relationship with James is ongoing. It's a friendship I'll I'll have. Uh, forever. So um, I, haven't, I haven't been in, in contact with James the last couple of weeks, that's for sure. You touched on the expectations before and the fact that externally they're still quite low. Is there a concern that perhaps the group could almost use that as an excuse for poor performances if they do come along? Uh, no, I don't think uh, any footy club or, or us as a group will... Um, use as an excuse we, we have low we don't have any expectations of winning and losses i think that's a healthy frame of mind to be in and being a part of successful teams i've seen that mentality um but we have high expectations on each, each other with our standards uh, the way we want to go about our footy and, and it's not about performance it's about the process so we, we've got low expectations in wins and losses they'll take care of themselves we've got high expectations within within the footy club and our expectations on one another and how we want to play and how we want it to look and how we want to behave on and off the field
Brendan, thank you so much for popping in. It's going to be an unusual year, but it hopefully is. it is a good one in many ways for the Bombers. Thanks, Sarah.